Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of the Grave Ride of Take One In, where I inspect old software uh, in the hopes of rewriting it. And uh, last time we have ended with uh, having almost all creative pages ready. Uh, we, I have since discovered that one is actually not ready yet, so let's do that first. And then uh, we have two uh, adventure quests and downloads uh, that do maybe call them uh, quests and adventures actually let me edit it here um, and um, I have created myself uh, a token uh, to uh, properly um, uh, uh, to, pr to be able to uh, properly upload to S3 um, the original idea of synchronizing from the old server in re your real time I have discovered is not possible uh, and the reason is that uh, there um, even even S3 uh, and various other services by Amazon are behind HTTPS and uh, as I've mentioned somewhere before I can't talk to any HTTPS because uh, on the server, the, uh, the libraries for handling encryption, uh, for TLS encryption, are too old and the uh, servers don't accept them anymore. So that kind of went out of the window, um, but I think that I'm fine just uh, synchronizing um, basically on addition, like time from time by la launching additional server and um, running rsync on the original server and then uh, s3sync on uh, s3 so uh, that is a viable workaround that i wouldn't recommend for any production uh, but hey um you know we are in to do um uh, hobby projects let's call it so uh, let me go back into using virtual environment um, and uh, let's take a look at items. So it should be the same story as before. Uh, so let's just document. Uh, so what, what we are looking at is uh, check version is předněty and uh, um, English version is, I guess, just items. And that will have a lot of attributes. <laughs> the way I remember. So in here again, let's fix the managed. Uh, no, it's not as bad as I, uh, as I, as I thought. Uh, jump into the legacy get the items class uh, items class is still a concert creation so let's go there um, and right, inheriting from creation is the next step. Uh, moving to matched and dropping whatever is inherited. Uh, so those, those, and those. Um, yeah, not so bad with the amount of attributes I have remembered. Um, right, and replacing the mis misencoded text fields as they are. So those three guys and misencoded char field. I'm lazy to write and suddenly there is no misencoded char field anymore. There. So miss encoded char field. Uh, was it just two? Yep, that's this integer. 
Okay, cool. Uh, so that's migration. So link migration. And we're calling it items. Looks correct uh, by skimming, so let's rename it. Uh, item rename. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is it doing this to me? So let's remove that migration. And I guess copy pasting from the uh, wizard spell rename. Um, right, I could have just done the replace. Uh, so Removing those operations. Um, just this. So rename model and the original rename name was the, the new name is item. All right. Uh, let's run the migration and see whether it works. Look at column name. Uh, also, this actually in practice is um, potentially a large problem because the schema uh, alters are not uh, a transaction in MySQL. So we have now potentially ended up in the middle of uh, a sequence of alter table commands. Uh, but when I look at it, uh, you can see that uh, it's actually fortunately a first migration. So this should be fine, TM. Um, but why is it freaking out about So as with other fields, it was not in the original inspect, or at least I don't see it, but it shouldn't be in the database as well. Unless I fuck up, of course. Um, so let me go to database, for which I have password. Oh well. Um, well, I can, I can use. Uh, the connection data that I'm using here locally. Uh, that should give me satisfactory conditions. So user is EDCZ, um, database is this one, and I will copy password. And uh, let's ask for a description of Pregnete. And the field is there. Uh, I'm not sure. 
So either it's a side effect of this um, alter, ta alter table, like that's running multiple times or something, or um, the inspect DB when I've been creating those legacy commands was failing. Now we are not actually using this field yet. Uh, so I'm going to say, let's verify this on production. Um, so um, I find on production current state of uh, that's items. Uh, it's both attribute and a column. And let me, let's call it hotfix. <laughs> uh, let me make an assumption um, that it is there on production as well. And it was a failure of um, the inspect DB. And let's drop it from migration in which case it should be in the initial version. Uh, so that's, which, know, which stands for red and that should be same data type as printed. So that's a small integer field. Both are not nil, and for some reason here the default is nil instead of zero. But this should be taken care of by the Django framework in this case. Okay, uh, so now the migrate should work. And let me not edit to, uh, to pages yet, uh, because uh, in there, the uh, in the in the uh, in, uh, the pages would uh, cause this commit to fail, uh, as we've learned last time. So let me commit this. Uh, well, let me take a look at which branch I'm at. Okay. So let me go to master first. Um, okay, stash it. Go to master. Um, let me also verify that uh, there is no pending pull request that I forgot about. Nap. So I should be good to go on top of master and call an items, apply the current changes, add migrations, and commit it. So this is the groundwork. Uh, let's push it and um, move on to the templates. So this can be closed and uh, as always stuff starts in public. So the slug is item. Uh, someone forgot how to copy. And right now I should be able to run the run server when I've stopped my precious WordPress. Uh, this is production, this is production, 
I can close those things then. So I have a clear delineation um, between production and localhost. Uh, so, hello. All right, so we have localhost and we have items. So we have to add them to uh, pages. That will be number 18. Uh, name's going to be Renate Slack is Huh. I'm going again into this trick of a uh, singular versus plural, but I guess I will follow the leads on the original page. The slug is pretty indeed. So load pages locally, not on production yet. Which will give us a uh, missing template, right? Uh, no. Because I have to use a proper slug. So now everything's fine. Um, so I guess alchemist tools uh, are the guys that are closest. So item list. Also for consistency, potentially it should be alchemist items. But um, this probably makes sense. Con uh, like in the context. And let me pull up the original site again, so there are no nasty surprises. Uh, so that's the code. And the full list which is here. Right, correct encoding. And let's take a look what we have here. All right. So in order, that's going to be Group as usual, name with rating, and then for some reason this is done badly, and let me take a look at how inspection in the model worked, because we are getting into, okay, so this is this got lower cased even though it's upper cased in the database. Cool. So this is going to be you see uh, for attack number, although it's called strength of weapon, because why not? Uh, so there's that. Uh, Okay, so it makes more sense. Uh, the quality of armor. Uh, 
Um, then length. I'm looking at the thinking like. Um, whether if will correctly evaluate zero. Um, but I think it should, uh, as in it shouldn't display zero uh, based on what we've been doing previously. So this should work well. Um, <laughs> uh, then there is a bunch of uh, attributes that uh, are about the range of weapons, which exists uh, probably for the purpose of uh, evaluating bonuses. Man, this game is for account accountants. Uh, so short range, mid range, long range. Uh, we do have a sphere, uh, which is for magical items. Uh, so like how far the demons causing the effect is and uh, wait and I am putting in uh units which is like an artificial uh, old time unit that they're using and the rest of it is standard it seems All right, so this should give us something. Uh, let's adjust for the size of the window. And something is wrong. And it seems like the styling for items is off. For some reason. And also, yet again, am I showing a single item? No. But it seems like the ordering is off. So in here, this looks well. Oh, okay, I'm showing more items than here. And 
as you can see uh, here, there. Oh no, it's just uh, wait. So. This looks reasonably well, except for those styles. Um, and also, I do wonder whether this is uh, style. Well, it's a way to discover whether it's styling or uh, someone like intentionally added those guys. Let's take a look. Comments, styles, text, and then okay. This is this is actually like a check style paragraph um, that uses a different typography than its U.S. counterpart. Uh, so this is actually uh, technically more correct, but what doesn't work well is that. LIs have list style none. Right. Because that's what, how uh, I'm doing the rows in uh, the overall layout, but it gets propagated to the paragraph. So that needs to be redone. Article list so l i dot creation detail is what I wanted to do. Uh, so how was it again? Uh, well, line forty seven. Ah, huh, theoretically. Um, Creation list, article list. Uh, I dot article list or creation list. Uh, article list creation detail. Man, uh, this I also could unify. Yep, works better. Cool, yeah. uh, So let's create the detail. Special items without solving inheritance just yet. This with article dot and this should give us what we want so far. Yeah, I really hope for more front end engineers. All right, so this should be it for items, and um, then we'll get to the interesting stuff. Uh, so.
So let's send it towards production. Templates, creative pages, and that's it, I think. I bet I will not be able to do anything else than um, remember ticket 53 afterwards all right um, so what first let's actually start with downloads they should be simpler so what I did is that uh, I synchronized everything that's uploaded media to this new subdomain so you can see for example that even gallery is there now uh, same should be for the downloads that are somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, just blind. So this is a script that does just counting, I think. Uh, Let's keep that, uh, but uh, let me record network. It's going to be easiest. Uh, and I think that I have to somewhere enable keeping it in between requests now. Oh, cool. Uh, so if I copy a link, And I change this to uploads. Yep, I'm still getting the link. Cool. So 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 downloads. Let's see what they have in stock in models. That's a lot of attributes. Oh, actually, before I do, uh, let me go back to previous. And uh, let's um, not forget about putting the items to admin. And while doing that, uh, uh, let's rename the this to name search admin well search admin searchable admin uh, and register it with all uh, all items and also this is an anti pattern so let me First, commit this. Uh, so, oh, but actually, in the original, state. So uh, let's make it into two, uh, into two commits because it can create problems down the road. Uh, so. Them into admins fifty three, right? Ha. Huh. 
Um, and then uh, control Y. Yep. And then let's experiment with this uh, admin thingy. Uh, of note, I don't plan to use uh, the Django admin for the complete administration because while I like um, uh, why I like the admin, I really think that it only serves as a replacement for uh, you know but what basically PHP my admin is uh, as opposed to uh, a full-fledged admin tool. The reason mainly being that uh, normal administration has a flow and uh, this doesn't work um, as a, uh, uh, f for flows much. Like you continue hacking and hacking on it. Um, okay. So this seems to be working. Working. Um, let me edit um, go, uh, and admin searchable. So let's push this. Now switch back. Um, rebase on the on top of that branch, which um, since I have zero commits, just replace. It's fast forwards, and now we can go into downloads. Have I pushed? Yes. Okay. So, I guess this is still concert creation. So, adding a model. Uh, Fixing the initial initial managed. Uh, why is this yellow? I hope it's not a keyword. Um, okay, so are implied and the rest of it is special so migration Uh, there are two fields that don't make sense um, with those, but I mean... There are more things that doesn't make sense around. And... Well... What's the correct name? Um, Downloads is like a proper name in English for the section. Um, download item would be a singular, and all of this is download items. Let's drink to that. I think that the proper... I mean, it follows the nomenclature. Let's make it a download, a download item. 
and see whether uh, Django will catch it. It will, excellent. Um, so we have a download item. It will require a different approach though. And also the path is actually a an upload field. But let's do this in iterations. So first, uh, let's figure out how, this, how to display what we have. And then we'll go into Django storage and setting Django storage and all of that. Um, this will also be fun to set up for local development. So let's actually make sub items here. Um, because I will need to maybe cut a church today. So uh, downloads, uh, display field. Uh, also, hey, one punch man. Uh, yes, I mostly only do Python uh, in this stream. There is some PHP, um, you know, when going through the history, um, but it's mostly Python uh, in the future, JavaScript and uh, maybe some CSS. But uh, right now, uh, I really need to do the Python background first. So that's, that's going to be here for the next few episodes. Um, and uh, no, sorry, no, no, no C sharp. Uh, that's uh, not compatible with hosting. Sorry about it. Um, so to continue uh, for what to do with the download. So first display, um, display the current state. Um, then it will be migrate to Django storage. Uh, and uh, figure out local development. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I can whiteboard uh, some pseudo code. Um, but I think that it's, you know, not necessary for the purpose of this stream yet. Um, so local development, uh, migrating to Django storage and handling uploads. And figure out local uh, development uh, and display. Um, so let's move on with uh, displaying the current state. So I can theoretically reuse the view uh, I have created and maybe let's go with that and uh, see where it breaks down, if it will break down. Uh, so in the public templates, uh, I'm going to create the same link to downloads. Um, which will require us to edit two pages again. So uh, that's going to be uh, page number 19. Um, name is going to be downloads. Uh, let's keep the plural. Uh, and the model class is download item. I think I have decided in the end. Yeah, download item is the, probably the purpose singular for this. Um, I think that the plural should be downloads. Uh, so uh, I need to look up what I, uh, what should be the options. So Django model options, plural form, I guess. Uh, yeah, for both name plural is what I am into. Uh, so, um, 
notes. All right. So this should be enough to display it. And uh, we are going to create a template for it. Uh, I'm going to copy and then I'm going to delete a lot. Uh, so that goes into view, I mean templates, uh, creations, no, creative pages and the name is download item list. So I'm going to display So I'm going to delete those later down the road. But let's first check that we are able to actually display anything. So I do have downloads. Uh, I have right. Uh, I haven't necessarily messed up, but I have to load the items, and actually we have to migrate first. Uh, so let's run the migration, let's load pages, and now we should be able to see the page, excellent, let's compare with how it looks like out in the real world, uh, yep, we will need to display more items, but otherwise good. Um, it just reminds me, let's check what our, well, we haven't created pull request. So let me create the pull request for the items. And you know, let's get them deployed meanwhile. Uh, 53. And Let's just quickly read through it, uh, whether it looks reasonable. Uh, so it includes this um, model change. So I guess I should reflect that in the pull request name. Um, and migrations, moving. Uh, we have the template, both of them. And we have a link and dictionary. Okay, so let's just call it um, items and searchable admin models. Um, cool, how do, right, here I go back. Uh, test has passed, so Let's move it in. See what happens. Um, so download counter is uh, what's up. Uh, and before the outer even, uh, and format. So, um, I do wonder whether this is the correct form. Uh, huh. I'm missing a field. So have I either something is wrong or I'm abusing a bad field. So again, let's take a look at the source of truth. So here's the PHP for the watchers. Uh,
that is here. So let me also be a proper Eastern European, I mean Central European. So what? Okay, this is crazy. So if I'm reading this correctly. Oh man. Then uh, what is happening for no good reason whatsoever, if you ask me, is that in here, There is a counter Why? 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 <laughs> For fuck's sake Okay so um, how to reconcile this? And it's counting correctly. Um, This is the first thing to go out. Uh, so th this is, uh, well, besides being ridiculous, um, the S3 storage is not designed to be used this way. Um, and before this, I mean, for the period before the switch, uh, I guess what I can do is to extend the model, count the downloads in the new version, locally in a different field. Um, cache the counter from the original site, I guess. And uh, on migration, we'll do a final count But doing a sub request for this. Well, I mean, on the original site is this. It, it is disk access. It's not a request because it's just it's not accounting for. Uh, it's not accounting for um, the separation of media. So neat. Um, Let's call it to do <laughs> uh, for a moment and um, oh, wow. So let's make this a separate check mark. Um, So make local download counter. I mean, um, new version specific download counter. And um, prepare the migration script, I think. Prepare the final migration script for merging 
download counts. Mm. And for the migration, uh, migrate and merge download counts. Uh, follows. Well, we'll use migration match script from fifty three. Uh, well, it, this is actually a checklist, and uh, as a cleanup. Uh, Uh, directory from uh, upload uh, uh, three buckets. Poof. How to make your, how to complicate your life unnecessarily. So this is launch party. So production launch. Um, do we have? Right, we've been here. Let me open Chromium. Let's take a look whether we do have a deploy. Seems like we do. So let's run those migrations on production. So we at least can take off items. And um, load pages on production as well. Oh man, okay. Um, so that's and the data formats. And that has its attributes. And the last one that we want to do is size, which is in bytes, I believe, yeah. uh, which also could use some more user friendly uh, display. So people don't have to convert into megabytes in their head. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the new production to see whether we do have items. And let's take a look here. This looks reasonable. Here we have items. We don't. Mistakes were made. Okay, so. Uh, let's look at the last 50 lines in our application. This answers our question about alter table. So uh, remember that line that I have 
dropped. That is needed. Okay, so let me uh, she. So let's finish uh, working on this. Um, commit it. Wrap it, to, uh, uh, wrap it for today as a display because everything goes way more complicated. And uh, go back uh, to master to finish production. And uh, that's going to be it for today. So, anything else for downloads that needs to be done? Um, I believe that all is good, except for we will need a different view for counting downloads and everything. And in the original version, was it this script or a different one? Uh, download it, pp slash panel, so... Oh. Oh, there is a bit, man. So, there is a PHP script somewhere. That I have a slight feeling Helen got to get copied. Fuck. Okay. But in the same way, I believe it may be here. Uh huh. And it's going. Right. Uh, and if we use the new version, then we have uh, accidentally open sourced our PHP script. Ah, yeah. So, is there anything of interest that may lead us to get hacked? No. Um, yeah, all it's doing is doing a st not a young stream made a buffer treat. Okay. So, this should be a different view. Uh, so for the new version, and it doesn't make sense to create a post. Yes, it uh, you know the view is not going to get. very accurate, but that's the case anyway. Um, so let's call it download stream. That doesn't exist yet. So let's go to URLs. And there we are. Okay. I have actually a specific top level section for it. So downloads and Let's put in um, integer downloads. 
ID and it will start out. Download file. It's like, I mean, a bit too generic, but otherwise workable. So, download file and a.id. I mean, uh, wait, this way, so download id equals a id. And in the views, um, no, no class view needed, and let me put it near other yeah, views. So request and um, download ID, and this is going to be uh, like in detail. So downloads item is going to be get object no get object or 404 and downloads item and primary key is the download id and download item needs to be imported And for now, let's just return work in progress. So if I refresh, I see that something went wrong, mainly the meek link um, server. And this should be called download file. Um, I shouldn't be returning strength. But this is it for today. So commit. Um, Display downloads. This is a full blown ticket, I say. Okay, so push this as a work in progress. Uh, let me take a look at. Display current state is fine, uh, but correct load as in the original version. And let's go back to master. Oh, we all have migration conflicts. I love those. And fix items. Okay. So we need that. Item that 
I deleted from the initial migration. So, I mean, edit. So, theoretically, all I need is to drop it uh, from the initial migration where it doesn't belong. Uh, and add a new migration to fix it. And it was this guy. Uh, so now if I do make a migration with the read counter, then I have a problem with switching branches. <laughs> um, this is a problem with versioning databases. It will not pick it up. Crap. Uh, so let me just override it. This is going to be a lot of manual work. But this all is bullshit. And Instead, we're going to add field like here without the model options because that already happens. Um, model name is items item. And this should be it for production. If I run it locally, this will create problems, but it should work on production. Uh, and as far as I know, there is a way to skip. Yep. Uh, not the best way to do it. Oh, and I, ha I haven't... Uh, Committed the download migrations, man. That's why I had those problems. So also, let me copy this. And it doesn't recognize it because I haven't saved. Never mind. So this goes out of the window. Um, actually, no. No, I'm, I'm thinking whether Django would uh, run the skipped migrations. So we're not doing actual schema changes. So this is only going to be fiddling with um, fiddling with Django settings. But I'm thinking that um, I could theoretically leave uh, item rates at this level. But uh, and ne no, never mind. Um, let me download this. Go back to. 
Go back to all my downloads. Um, add the my download migrations here because they should be part of the commits. Amend it actually. Push it. Um, Go back, not to master, but to uh, fix items. Fix the migration. Now do the make migrations. Um, I have no idea why those are here. This encoded char field. Nice, because those really are missing. So this should also be deployed. Uh, so it's not only red, but a bunch of other stuff. Okay. But this still is uh, changing the uh, type field without running an actual alter. So... Um, Let's not forget to add them. Uh, deploy this. And then uh, let me make a note that I have to reconcile migrations. So reconcile migrations with the fix items branch. Because um, now we have parallel sequences. Um, now if run, I run migrates locally, everything's going to explode. Yep. But if I run it with fake, I only fake this one, okay. I have a very bad feeling about this. <laughs> um, but let me go to downloads. Rebase it on top of that um, Well, let me actually wait because it's only a minute or two and uh, Drink the instead uh, before I will be able to merge this and um, For items So I can rebase on top of master. 
and uh, do not make more fuck ups. This should be reasonably quick. Also, I got a warning from Circa CI that um, the Docker images are not cached because I'm using uh, two alts of an image. But I'm not sure there is a reasonable workaround until I switch over and uh, you know, upgrade on all the things. So once this is done, it goes into master and deploy. Like this. And while that is happening, uh, I can rebase, well, I can pull, that's the first one. Actually, not pull, but fetch to be on the safe sides. And I can rebase on top of origin master. And you can see the problem. And I think that I should be able to fix it. If I haven't run off migrations, but I don't remember it. Uh, by moving the 40 to be 41 and moving the 39 downloads uh, to be 40 and then edit them to contain proper dependencies. So 39 item red. And for the download. And um, Then I think I can fold those into also uh, also with adding the proper templates that I also forgot. Um, to the previous commits. And now when I mi run migrations, I think everything pot is potentially going to hell. Yep. Uh, but I mean, again, I'm not actually altering data structures, so I, I should be able to get away with fake. Phew. Well, uh, so do we have a deploy? We do. So now that 500 that was there somewhere, Should hopefully be fixed, except it isn't, and it isn't because we haven't run the migrate on production. Uh, so eh. I should have a more dedicated consoles. Lab and running. Migration seem to run okay. 
So uh, minus network problems. I do wonder what took so long. But that's for a different debugging. And um, this looks good enough for today. And uh, tomorrow, and this, wait, this was cached and there was still a flash of unstalled content. That will need debugging. But that's for a different uh, time and day. So with that, uh, thanks everyone for watching and for joining in. And uh, hope to see you soon with uh, continuing down the adventure of uh, properly displaying uh, downloads, which is going to apparently be more and more fun based on uh, what we have looked into today. So enjoy your evening and hope to see you soon.